Hello everyone and welcome back to Butterfly Dreams Crochet. My name is Jeannie and today is Wednesday, May the 12th, 2021. I would like to welcome each and every one of y'all to my channel. Thank y'all so very much for continuing to support my channel and if you are new to my channel thank you so much for stopping by checking me out and if you hadn't hit that subscribe button please hit that subscribe button make sure to hit that notification bell to all so you'll be notified when i put out another video leave me a thumbs up and drop me a comment down below i showed some yarn that i got on mother's day from michael's on my live last night Right now, Michael's in-store or online is the only place you can get this yarn. It is a premier yarn. I normally do not buy yarn when it first comes out, new release yarn. I try to watch other people's reviews of the yarn and see what they think about it. Now, I know we all have our own opinion of yarns. I know that. And also, normally when a yarn first hits the market, it's usually a, a, a hefty price. But this yarn I cannot pass by. When I seen those colors, Jennifer from Cinnamon Stitches shared a link, I think, on her community tab, or maybe on Facebook, that Michaels was carrying this yarn. I called the one closest to me. They did not have it in stock yet, so I called the other one. And they had it. So I went and got six of the colors. I'm going to tell y'all about it. All the specs and everything. And then I'll give you the colors that I got. Now I did get four skeins of each of the six colors that I bought. It's for a limited time only. Michaels is selling it for $7.99 a skein. And they had it Sunday. Buy one, get one half off. It is made by Premier. It is a hip, it's called hipster cotton. You get 229 yards of a number three lightweight yarn, 210 meters, 3.5 ounces or 100 grams. It is 100% cotton. It's not like your peaches and creams or lily sugar and cream cotton. It is soft, soft. So it is a a cotton that you would make garments to wear out of not make dish towels or washcloths or pot holders or anything like that with it of course you could but the quality of the yarn to me is a little oh uh, more high end for that type of stuff um all of premier yarns are made in turkey just in case you didn't know that and they recommend a 5 millimeter crochet hook or a 4, 4 millimeter knit needles. And the color that I'm about to show you is called Melonberry. And I will hold this up there for y'all to see the name. It's called Hipster Cotton. It is a lightweight 3. And that color is melon berry and there's your colors look how beautiful I told you I was excited when I seen these colors that Jennifer shared that I knew I had to get this yarn because purple is my favorite color in the color spectrum but I don't do Sorry about that. My chair wanted to drop down on me. I don't do a lot of crocheting with purple. The next one will be Tropical Dream. Same specs. Just the colors are different. Look at that. Oh, just absolutely beautiful. The next one is called Rainbow Roller Skates. Look how gorgeous. Mm, mm, mm. 
The next one is called Hello Hydrangea. And that really does remind me of a hydrangea plant because the original hydrangea is in the uh, blue tones. When you get into your different color hydrangeas, their colors have been altered. So that is gorgeous. And you do that by placing a rusty nail down into the ground next to the roots. And it alters the color of your hydrangea. The next one is Summer Splash. Summer Splash. Look how beautiful you got your purples and your teals and your light greens and your yellow green and your white. Beautiful, 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 beautiful colors. And the last one is called Sunset Aesthetic. Now this one puts me on the beach at a sunset. When I seen it, that's what I thought about was a beach sunset. Because it has your beiges and your cream colors in it. And it just reminds me of the sunset on a beach. See your browns, brown tones. And then you got your purples, your yellows, and like your oranges. Which are, are all of the color effects that you see in the clouds when the sun is going down. Absolutely beautiful. Well, let me tell you, Premier did not stop there. They went as far as to creating a yarn called Chameleon. Now, this Chameleon yarn is not on their website. I don't know if they're going to be putting it on their website or not. But as of right now, 5-12-2021 at 3.20 p.m., it is not on their website. However, you can purchase this yarn at Michael's, either in-store or online. They have it in three colors. Actually, I guess you could say six colors, but just three colors. They have it in white to pink, white to pink multi, white to yellow, white to yellow multi, and white to purple, and white to purple multi. So that's your choices. You have three solid colors, pink, yellow, and purple, and you have three multicolors in pink, yellow, and purple. So, and it's called chameleon, and we all know what a chameleon does, right? A chameleon, whatever it gets on, if it gets on a limb of a tree, that chameleon would take the color of that limb, and that is its protection from other prey. It camouflages against whatever it lays on. So, this is the chameleon. And this is the white to yellow. And it's the same specs as the other one. A lightweight 3, 229 yards. 100% cotton made in Turkey. 5 millimeter crochet hook. 4 millimeter knitting needles. Machine washable and dryable. If I did not mention that before. And all of this yarn is for a limited time only. Now, the white to yellow has a darker yellow band on it. The white to yellow multi, the band will be lighter. It's like it's like a cream color and then it goes to a yellow. So, it will be a lighter band. This one is the white to purple. And the band is darker. And it just looks white. And you're like, well, you, you're saying white to purple, but we don't see anything happening. Color changes in sunlight. I do not have sunlight. I have a gloomy, cloudy day outside. But it will change the color of it. Will, do you get the full effects of the color change by it not being sunny? Probably not. I did work up a swatch. We're going to take the swatch outside so y'all can see the color change in front of you. And also, when I have a sunny day, I will take the same swatch, which is right here. And we will go outside again and see if the colors get darker. And we will compare the two. Now, this 
It's just a little swatch that I worked up. Um, this is the pink. This is the roller skate, uh, rainbow roller skates. This is the yellow. This is the purple. And again, this is the rainbow uh, roller skates. I wanted to incorporate one of those colors in there so we could see how it looks with the um, hipster cotton. So this is the little swatch that I did. And I just did two rows of double, two rows of half, and two rows of single in each little section. Now you see my ends because I'm planning on using this yarn. <laughs> so we will take that outside, but I got to show you the pink first. This is the pink, and again, same thing. This is a darker band, and the pink to multi, white to pink multi will be a lighter band, yarn band. So, yes, it's just white right now. But we're going to go outside, and it will not change colors if you're sitting in your car. Tried that when I first bought it. So, these are all of the gorgeous colors that I got of the hipster cotton. Have melon berry, tropical dreams, you have sunset aesthetics, you have um hello hydrangea, you have rainbow roller coaster, and you have one more. What's the name of it? Lord, I don't know. <laughs> melon berry. The one on the top. So yes, look at that beautiful yarn, y'all. Gorgeous. Now, wouldn't you run and go buy this if you had seen a picture of it before? Yeah. <laughs> okay. I'm actually going to fold this up and put it in my pocket until we get outside. I have a thing, something set up out there to lay it on, but I don't want it to start changing colors when we get out there. So I'm going to fold it up and put it in my pocket. Then when we get out there, I will lay it out on the, the box and y'all will be able to see it. Hold on. Okay, we are outside, as you can see. Let me flip the camera. And it's very cloudy. Here's my box. Now I'm going to take this out. And we're going to lay it out. And as you can see, it is already starting to change colors. This is the pink, this is the yellow, and that is the purple. So yes, it does change colors on a cloudy day. But let me show you this. It will also, if I place my hand over this, it will go back to white. And you can see the difference just like this see how much lighter it is so we don't know if we're getting the true effect of the color change or not and if you flip it over on the back it's not going to be as dark but as soon as it's exposed it starts turning to its color so the purple the yellow and the pink I'm excited all right guys I hope y'all enjoy this and like I said once I get um once I get a sunny day I will bring this swatch back outside and we will see if it actually affects the um color of it Y'all have a good day, and I will see y'all in the next video. Bye-bye.